One day after a KCRA 3 investigation uncovered illegal campfires burning in the heart of Sacramento with little enforcement, the county now says it's ready to make changes. We need to do um, an increased enforcement not only on the campfires, and the illegal campfires along the American Parkway aren't the only problem. KCRA3's Kevin Oliver looks at why the number of homeless camps are growing. Sacramento County says it's trying to do something to reduce the number of homeless living along the American River Parkway. But our KCRA3 investigation found despite enforcement efforts, the camps just move from one spot to another. They are burning out in the open, sometimes with no effort to hide them. Despite an unprecedented number of wildfires along the American River Parkway this summer and a continuing drought, KCRA 3 found fires and remnants of fire pits in dozens of places. Yet park rangers have only issued six campfire citations this year. Cal Expo fire was a good example of that. It's something that homeowners living nearby found troubling. As long as nobody does anything about it and makes them move or finds somewhere for them to be, preferably not here, um, they're going to continue to illegally camp along the river and they're destroying it. Today, Jeff Leatherman, the director of the Parks Department, said they're now going back to look at how the county is enforcing campfire laws. We need to do um, an increased enforcement, not only on the campfires, but then we have new ordinances in place to deal with barbecues in the parkway as well. The fires are indicative of a larger issue, the sheer number of homeless camping along the river. Park rangers, grab your dog. The park rangers camping task force heads out every morning around sunrise, rain or shine, to look for camps. Just you back there? Okay, got some ID with you? When they find people in tents, they get a citation. So you know you guys are going to get a ticket today, okay? It's an infraction, all right? So make sure you guys take care of it. If not, it will turn into a warrant. Okay. So far this year, how many in the tent there? Park Rangers have ticketed 485 campers. They've posted 606 notices to vacate camps and cleaned up more than a thousand sites. But the homeless camps haven't gone away. We asked the parks director if the county is resigned to homeless living along the parkway. We have increased enforcement since 2012, and it is important to us, and it's vital to, to the success of the parkway, to continue to enforce our illegal camping laws. So we will continue to do that. It's not about allowing or being complacent in illegal camping in the parkway. The county's strategy is to keep them moving. Well, by enforcing illegal camping, we're making it very inconvenient for people to be in the parkway. You can come in. But how effective is that? Well. Janine Wilson says she's lived out here for a year and a half. She's got two tents, a stove, propane heater, even a DVD player powered by car batteries. I'll move somewhere else if I have to, if they find me, but I don't try to bother them or the land. Park rangers gave us a number of reasons why authorities haven't been able to get rid of all the campers. They don't want to pile on citations. They don't want to go into camps after dark because it's too dangerous. Um, extra citations won't do anything. I think viewers are going to hear that and say there's a lot of excuses for why the homeless are being allowed to live in the camps. Mm -hmm. Well, homeless, the homeless are not allowed to live in camps. I, I can't stress that enough. And yet, the illegal camps persist. The rangers throw our things away, the police do whatever. Uh, they take you to jail now because they want us out of here. But. I'm still here. Park rangers say the drought has also been a factor in increased camping along the parkway. High water in the winter months usually wipes out most of the campsites, and that hasn't happened for a couple of years.